Okay, the number 10 freshman in the country right now is Maryland's Eric Maliver. He's got 9 points through 7 games, so nothing crazy, but what I've seen from him so far has been electric. Like look at this pass bro, 99% of freshmen aren't making this pass. Heck, most college lacrosse players can't make this pass. If Maliver wasn't already on one of the most stacked offenses in the country, this guy would probably have 30 or 40 points by now, but right now he's just gotta wait his turn. I love Maliver's speed and change of direction, and it just seems like this guy's lacrosse IQ is off the charts. I can't wait to see what he does in the next few years. The number 9 freshman is Michael Boehm, Bame, whatever you call it, from Michigan. This guy is Michigan's number two scorer as a freshman and has kept them in so many games. He's got a ton of energy that just gets the team hype when he scores. He's also shooting at a pretty ridiculous 42%, so that means he's canning his shots when he gets the opportunity. I'm excited to see how Michael's game evolves and if Michigan can become the elite program we all want them to be. Okay, at this point you know I'm right, I'm never wrong, but if you think that I missed a freshman, comment down below. But let's not waste any time getting into our next pick, number 8, Jake Nasso of Duke Lacrosse. He's a FOGO and a huge reason why Duke is at the top of the lacrosse world right now. Jake came in as a freshman and had to beat out Dan O'Connell, a transfer from Holy Cross, and Brian Smith, who's been taking faceoffs at Duke for many years. And Nasso completely did that and is facing off at 67%, good for 7th in the country. And he's doing it against the best of the best and helping Duke win big games. It seems like Jake Nasso is definitely going to be a force for many years to come. And coming in hot at number 7, we have the next Sergio Perkovic, the man, the myth, the legend, Eric Dobson from Notre Dame. I'm making a video on this guy soon. The amount of potential in this young freshman is absolutely crazy. He's six foot four, 220 pounds as a freshman. Okay, my guy. And this guy has an absolute cannon of an outside shot with his left hand. I mean, he's pulling up from distance and using his size to get by any defender. He's averaging two points a game, just about all you can ask of an ACC freshman midfielder. It's going to be really fun watching Dobson develop, and I think he could be a really, really special talent. At number six, I love this guy's game, my dog Shane Knobloch from Rutgers. This guy is legit. The first time I really saw him was this absolute rip to the top left corner against Hopkins, and since then, I've kept an eye on him, and he has exceeded all my expectations. This guy simply does not play like a freshman at all. His confidence and his ability to dodge downhill is extremely impressive. And my guy is shooting at 44% from the midfield, which is pretty nuts. He has 15 goals, 3 assists, so as defenses start to take notice of him, I'm curious if he's going to turn into an elite passer when he gets those early slides. But overall, I cannot say enough good things about Knobloch. I'm all for this guy. By the way, you can always subscribe to the free Lax Weekly email newsletter packed with tips on how to become a better lacrosse player. I'll leave a link in the description where you can go subscribe now. And coming in hot at number 5, we have UNC goalie Colin Krieg. The man has been standing on his head left and right against some of the nation's best shooters. He came onto the national stage after going 61% against UVA and has since been putting up impressive performances, most recently against Duke. I love Krieg's presence in the goal. It seems like he's relaxed. He doesn't let the moment get to him. And he's saving at well over 50% against a lot of elite ACC shooters. I think Krieg could easily be a four-year starter for UNC. And oh boy, I'm going to get chirped for this so hard. At number four, yes, this could be a little low, but Owen Hiltz from Syracuse. Don't get me wrong, I love love Hiltz, but inside lacrosse put him as the number one freshman, and I think they need to chill out just a little bit. Hiltz is nasty. He throws crazy no-look passes. He has a nice outside shot, but I'm not ready to start drawing comparisons to some of the Syracuse greats quite yet. I could have some recency bias, but against Notre Dame, he basically had two shots that went right into the goalie stick with almost no power, and he just looked super passive to me. Owen is clearly a talented player. Duke put their best cover man, JT Giles Harris, to guard him, and I think he does have the potential to be one of the most talented players to come out of Q's for a while. But I like him here at number four, and I'm looking to see how he plays the rest of the season. And now coming in at number three, we have 
have TJ Haley from Georgetown, and I'm going to be honest, I don't watch a lot of Georgetown games, but this guy is second in the nation in assists per game and number one in overall assists. If you're a freshman putting up those kinds of numbers on a national scale, you deserve to be in the top freshman conversation. Georgetown is having a fantastic year and TJ Haley is a huge part of that. He works great with Jake Carraway, and I'm curious to see how everything pans out for the Hoyas. And now coming in at number two, unless you've been living under a rock, you've heard his name before, Brennan O'Neill of Duke. I mean, the fact that this guy has been so hyped since eighth grade and he's continued to deliver time and time again, I cannot say enough good things about O'Neill. I mean, physically, he looks just as strong and fast as most junior and senior attackmen in the country. And he's got a crazy good outside shot and scores big goals and big games. I think we all know O'Neill has the opportunity to be one of the best players in college lacrosse. He's that good. But at number one, I have to go with the redshirt freshman. It doesn't matter. He's still a freshman, Connor Schellenberger. I mean, he's top six in the country in terms of points, and he's one of the most well-balanced players in lacrosse with 18 goals and 26 assists. There's nothing this guy can't do. He can shoot, pass, and dodge with anyone. He has a 40% shooting percentage and 19 ground balls. The fact that it's his first season playing college lacrosse and he's putting up these kinds of numbers, like, let's go, beast. Schellenberger is the real deal i'm never wrong i'm only right but if you dare to contest my opinion please comment down below who i missed and tell me what video i should make next i'm jake with lax weekly i hope you have a great day and i'll see you next time